It's an occasion uh, for ch um, changing the place of Samadhi of Indra, Shripada Indra Prabhu from his room in, in Gurukul to this Samadhi place. So there's a ceremony of glorification of Indra Prabhu and shift in Samadhi itself. And it's a Pushpanjali ceremony also. All devotees are offering flower petals to Indra Prabhu. There are so many hearts who love Indra Prabhu and are missing him. Indra Prabhu was a great personality. He dedicated all his life to the holy name, to Krishna Balaram Mandir, to Srila Prabhupada, to serving his Thakurji. Approximately 25 years ago, I was passing by here, this area with Indra Prabhu. We were walking with him through the Iskonovsky Gashalu. We were lock, walking along uh, Iskongo Shala. And I remember as he pointed at one building, it is like black color with a marble, black marble. We can see it from here. Он мне с очень большим разочарованием показал и сказал, что это за Калиюга. And he was very disappointed. Uh, he exclaimed, what is Kaliyuga? It's a Kaliyuga thing. То есть ему не нравилось, что Вриндаван превращается в такое урбанистическое место. He didn't like that Vrindavan turns into the this kind of big like, urba, urbanistic place. Вот. Потому что Индра Прабу очень любил такую простую деревенскую жизнь. Because Indra Prabhu used to love a simple village life. И просто для примера, он тот, чьи киртаны слушают во всем мире. So he is the one whose kirtans are listened to all around the world. Но он был очень простым. But he was very simple. Его пригласили на киртан. Индра was invited to kirtan. И мы с ним проходили вот здесь по этой дороге, и мы вместе с ним перелезали через забор. So we were going around like on this path and uh, uh, jumped over the fence. То есть человек со всемирной известностью вот просто через забор перелезал с гармошкой. So the person who is popular around the world, he was jumping over the fence with a with a harmonium. И он не ходил на пла на киртаны, где предлагали плату. And he didn't go to the kirtans which were paid for. Он говорил, что киртаны должны быть бесплатными. He said that kirtans should be free for free. И я помню, мы с ним проходили. Он шел босиком. And he was walking barefooted. И я шел за ним. And I was walking behind him. И его следы я видел вот в песке. And I could see his steps in the sand. И я идя за ним, я прям взял вот песок из его следа и положил себе в карман. So I took uh, some uh, sand from his footstep and put it in my pocket. И потом этот песок я добавлял себе в просад, когда ел и вот ел пыль со стопа Индра Прабу. And then I added the sand to the dishes which I like was eating as a prasadam. Да, и ну и также некоторые удачливые дживы в Москве они также получили непосредственно пыль со стопа Индра Прабу. And some lucky souls in in Moscow also received some mahaprasad from dust, uh, lotus feet of uh, Indra Prabhu. Но я вот рассказал историю о том, что ему не нравилось, что Вриндаван так застраивается. So I told the story that Indra Prabhu didn't like that Vrindavan is becoming becoming so like so much constructions around. Я знаю, что один астролог предсказал Индре Прабу очень долгую жизнь. I know that one astrologist he has predestined a very long life for Indra Prabhu. Но Индра Прабу сказал, я не хочу. But Indra Prabhu he said, I don't want. Потому что мне очень больно видеть, как Вриндаван превращается вот 
вот такое в современное место. Because it's very painful to see how Vrindavan turns in the like modern place. И, видимо, поэтому Кришну устроил, что Айнра Прабу ушел, ну, довольно-таки рано. So that's why I think Krishna arranged that uh, Indra Prabhu left earlier. Но вот эти вот воспоминания о встрече с Айнра Прабу, они живут в моем сердце. And these uh, moments when I met Indra Prabhu, they live in my heart. То есть это было 25 лет назад, it... ощущение, как будто бы, ну, несколько месяцев прошло. It was 25 years ago, but it feels like it was just few months ago. И я много раз рассказывал эту историю, но повторю ее еще раз для тех, кто не слышал. Примерно 30 лет назад Айндра Прабу сказал мне, что будет война. И лучше для тебя будет жить во Вриндаване. И вот uh, я с России. So I'm from Russia. Uh, Манджари с Украины. Манджари с Украины. Да, но вот мы живем вместе во Вриндаване. And we live in Vrindavan together. Наши, вой... Наши страны воюют, our... но у нас все хорошо. Our countries have been fighting, but we are fine. И более того, во время войны во Вриндаване на Картику у нас родилась дочь. And moreover, during the war time, uh, during Kartik, uh, we got daughter born. Да, и... У меня жена, хотя Аиндру Прабу никогда в жизни не видела. Wife, Prabhu, но она любит его так сильно, so much, что она назвала дочь Аиндра. Да. И вот... Look at this. This Aindra, Aindra Dasi. So, yeah, Prabhu influenced my life so much. And I've been reading his uh, autobiography, well, not autobiography, biography book now, and getting to know many wonderful details about his life. And I recommend to everyone read this book. Uh, it's getting in touch with the pure devotee and getting taste from his incredible uh, taste to serving Radhishyam to the holy name. So I've been reading this book, and it uh, ful ful fulfills my life with the bright colors and. I hope Aindra, Aindra Dasi, she will also uh, grow in this atmosphere of Kirtan. She will know about Aindra Prabhu. And she will also, even though they are so far from each other in uh, years, like uh, geographically, but uh, they, they, she will keep Aindra Prabhu also in her heart. But that's, of course, up to her. But nothing is impossible. <laughs> Everything is possible. I mean, because uh, get, uh, mi uh, missing pure devotees is the same as missing Krishna, but missing Krishna is more difficult, I think. So I miss Andrew Prabhu, even though we never met. And he lives in the holy name, as it is said by the Vaishnavas. And Aindra is also eating a Mahaprasad from Aindra Prabhu. She already ate one, I don't know, was it Ladu or how they call it? But she's. Uh, such a nice eater that she will eat more. <laughs> <laughs>